Good morning. Flower beetles can be common on four crops during stand establishment. Last week, a cow flower transplant tray was received from a local grower for pest and damage symptom diagnosis. After careful inspection, no damages from insects or pathogens were present on the plant. The tray was placed outside in the shade for several hours to let the soil dry down for inspection of the soil and roots. Although no root damage was observed, tiny fast-moving beetles resembling to ants were found in great numbers all over the tray. They had moved onto the tray from the surrounding habitat. Specimens were collected and images were sent to Dr. Magurasi Bermanman from University of Arizona Insect Collection, who identified them as a flower beetle in the family Anthidae. The common name for these beetles is ant-like flower beetle. There are approximately 3,500 species of Anthidae in the world. Most of them live in the tropical and subtropical regions. It is a large group but still poorly studied. During the last 15 years, more than 300 new species and several new genera were discovered and described worldwide. The role of ant-like flower beetle is not completely understood. They present in various habitats from high mountains to rainforests, and of course in the desert. They can be found around flowers, leaf litter, soil, rotten wood, or even tree canopy. In North America, they are often brown or black with red or yellow markings that range in size from 1.5 to 20 mm in length. Both adults and larvae of ant-like flower beetles are omnivorous, known to consume small arthropods, eggs, pollen, fungi, or whatever they can find. Some group of them are being used as a biological control agent as the role of egg predator of many agricultural pests. So if PCA or gores encounter this type of beetle in the field, do not target sprays to control them. They may actually be providing some level of natural control of other soil pests in your crop system. If you encounter any beetles or other insects on the soil during the stand, stand establishment in the fall in your crop, do not hesitate to collect a few of them and bring them into, our, into us for ID. Also, to further exam, we will be monitoring for soil devouring insects as well as other non-target beneficial insects on and around the young plant stands using the black lighting system near the Yuma Agricultural Center this fall. Thanks for listening.